Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to send an SMTP email in GoDaddy using MVC C Sharp. I am creating a new project for this application. New project. In the new project, under the template section, I am choosing web and I am choosing ASP.NET MVC for web application. And the application name I'm giving GoDaddy email. Click OK. In the project template, I'm choosing Internet application, the view engine razor. Click OK. Now we just created the project GoDaddy email. Go to Solution Explorer, click views. And view start.cshtml is the default layout and the controller's name is home controller.cs. Now the first in the models folder I want to create an email class. Expand this model. Right click add class and the class name is SMTP email add here we just created the SMTP class now in this class I want to create a properties public string to get set copy this And this one is a subject this one is the body instead of two I'm adding from now we have our properties in this class now let's go to the home controller in this home controller let's add the namespaces to send an email using system.net using system dot net dot mail and the last one I have to call this class as SMTP email class also in this home controller using we need to add the GoDaddy email GoDaddy email dot models in this models folder we have SMTP email so we can access these properties in home controller let's delete this view back message and I don't need these methods also delete the square brackets HTTP post public action result index now, now in this index view method I need to call this SMTP email class SMTP email model and return view method mail message msg is equals to new mail message I just created an object for this mail message class msg dot from is equals to new mail address in this mail address model dot from message dot tool dot add method email id of godaddy contact at and rupee dot in message dot subject is equals to moral dot subject 
and as well as the body also body is equals to moral dot body mrs dot is body html is equals to true smtp client smtp is equals to new smtp client smtp dot credentials is equals to new network credential which takes two parameters one is the username and the password the username is the email id only which is this one let's copy this paste and the password here i'm giving password only just for the security reasons i'm not mentioning my real password but at the time of uploading this project on my remote server I will change into the real credentials and here the SMTP client also takes two parameters one is a string another one is a integer the string is nothing but a host name the GoDaddy host name is and this is the GoDaddy host name and the port number is a 25 SMTP dot enable SSL is equals to false now send the message send method which takes a mail message object view back dot message is equals to mail sent successfully after that smtp dot dispose method we have just finished the coding part now let's create the index view page the designing part go to view this is a view page let's delete this on default code at model godaddy email dot models dot smtp email class at layout is equals to now doc type html html head body center h1 how to send go daddy smtp email in mvc horizontal line now add deal at using html dot begin form and in this string index the controller name which is the home come for method dot post new here multi part slash or data Create table TR TD 
from. Now in this tilde, I am adding the text box control at HTML dot text box for model model dot from let's copy this tr paste here and paste here and this one is the subject dot subject body model dot body and the last one I required a button control to send an email so input type is equals to submit value is equals to send here one small correction this is not text box it's a text box area text area for new rows 10 columns 20 now of the table we need this pan control to display a message at view back dot message and I want to display this message color in green style color now we have just finished the view page also let's check anything is missing and here there is no semicolon here let's build a solution build succeeded now it's time to upload this project into my remote server I'm using FileZilla to upload this file. Before uploading my files into my domain, let's check my domain name hostandservers.com. Notice here, right now I don't have any web project or pages in this domain name. Let's upload that project into my domain hostandservers.com through FileZilla. I just logged into my FileZilla account. This is a local site and this is a remote site. And the remote site root folder is HTTP docs. And notice here there is empty directory listing in this HTTP docs. I'm adding Godaddy email. Copy this all. Enter. See here now all files are uploading into my remote site. Now I got a message all files have been successfully transferred. Let's flip back to the browser and we will refresh that page. I'm refreshing now. Now we got the index.cshtml page on my domain name host and servers before sending an email let's check my godaddy email account i just logged into my godaddy workspace and the email id of this account is contact at rnrupee.in right now in this inbox i have no messages to display so when i send message from my host and servers.com I must receive an email to this inbox. Let's send an email. The firm address is churn3k at gmail.com. Sending mail MVC. This is a test mail. Godaddy SMTP MVC 
email send now we got a message mail sent successfully let's check my godaddy email account we received a mail from charan3k at gmail.com or not click inbox still we have not received any email inbox see here you got a mail from charantrika gmail.com to contact at aranrupee.in let's open this mail and subject is sending mail mvc and this is a message we sent here that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos